vinyl has come back in a very big way. Vinyl went out um, as far as the commercial business, but vinyl never went out in terms of collecting. There's a huge market now of vinyl collectors, and stores are starting to stock vinyl again. People are talking about vinyl, people are, are listening to vinyl. If you just come up to the second floor of Newgar Library, head over to the Charles River side. We have somewhere between 26 and 30,000 vinyl items here. We've been in this area for 30 years, and we've been through, you know, records, CDs, cassettes, but we've always had vinyl. And all of a sudden, it started picking up around 2006. Now it's, you know, a lot more young people are buying vinyl. I ended up getting my own record player about two years ago. I've always grown up in the era of putting on an MP3, and everything is just so perfect and, and out of your control. But there's something about a record player, you can change the speed, you can change the tone. Vinyl and digital are not really competing in my mind. They occupy different, different worlds, and that's what the appeal is. Digital is everywhere. What you have now is an iTunes playlist that looks like an Excel spreadsheet. Most of the time you're listening to a highly compressed version, which shaves off high spikes and some low things. All listeners have been pushed into a, a type of listening format which is not real. You can definitely hear the quality difference between vinyl and digital. I feel like the, the tone's warmer. The way it sounds coming out of speakers is, you know, a lot more exciting than just listening to things on headphones. It's more of a social activity as well. Well, the vinyl record is more of something you actually sit down to listen to. What vinyl is now doing again is helping us refocus the listening experience. Some of it's listening and some of it's even, you know, a fashion statement where people like, you know, records, they like the covers. You could read it, you could look at it, and it was also a piece of art. We forget how much a recording carries with it. Now, who hasn't heard of the Supremes? My heart leapt when I pulled out a Motown vinyl of them with this gorgeous photograph of these three young women. It's nice to be able to go into a record shop and find something that's been around for like the past 30 years. We have people coming in wanting to hear Rolling Stones on vinyl because it's the Stones. I think it was Keith Richards that said it was that Chuck Berry record and you heard that da 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 that just jumped at you. And that kind of sound that jumps out at you, um, a riff like that, is really only possible uh, on vinyl.